So for the first time in my whole entire life, I'm going to 3D print myself. That's a whole new experience. But before I do that, I have to take a shower. It's nine o'clock in the morning right now, as you can see. I have to dress up and uh, yeah, let's do it. I dressed up, I took shower, and this is my outfit, as you can see. This mall is so advanced. I just want to take you on a tour, guys, on this mall. It's amazing, honestly. The elevator have just arrived. They told me it is on the sixth floor. I have no clue, and I'm a little bit nervous. Oh my God, where I am? A small machine running around over here. What is this? And here is it, guys. I have just arrived at the location at the moment. Let me show you the samples, guys, okay? This is how I am going to look later. Oh my goodness. Nine, 12, 15. This is how I will look like within two minutes, guys. Now there is someone inside over there. Let me tell you how does this thing work. I get in there without the camera. They're going to scan me from the top to the bottom. And after three days, I will come back to this place and take the results. It's a new experience. Let's just get in and see. So right now, I'm in the circle over here. After five minutes, I'm going to stand in this location over here. And then all of these cameras are going to take picture of me from each and every angle. So he told me I have to go back again because uh, I have closed my eyes. Okay guys, we have just finished. It took seconds to finish this thing. And let's just see the results, how will it be? He literally took pictures from each and every angle. This is how I look from the front, from the side. After three days, I'm gonna come back over here, guys, and take the 3D print from him. Right now, let me take you on a nice tour on this place. This floor over here, it's all built on futuristic stuff. I'm gonna take you on a nice tour. Let's just see what do they have. And as you can see inside the restaurant over there, there is a guy who's doing whatever he's doing. I don't know what is he doing, but it's, a nor it's not a, a guy. It's like a... <laughs> it's a What's wrong? <laughs> Anyways, basically this mall over here, before it became a mall, it was actually an application that you can actually order products online like uh, Taobao and Pindodo. But this mall have actually opened a whole big mall in Shenyang city and I think so they have more than 10 malls around, around the whole city. This is a toilet as you can see guys. It's very futuristic honestly. And we have over here a guy driving motorcycle and this girl again. I'm telling you guys, this place is so so futuristic. Usually in JD application, you can order whatever you want and they copied that idea and they invested in a very big mall it's like Amazon making a very big mall to let people come in the mall and chill and have fun and buy whatever they want like over here we have a machine that can actually make uh, I don't know what you call this thing let me know in the comment section what does it call because I literally forgot you click on this screen over here and you can order the shape that you want all right this machine over here makes for you ice cream that's amazing honestly but honestly China have been doing this a lot they are just putting those machines that make food for people coffee for people the machines are actually taking over the people's job you know actually someone is supposed to be doing these jobs making ice cream and making this candy but right now everything over here is placed with a machine so machines are slowly replacing the human being in china that's my opinion what the hell is she doing this is so scary guys so in front of each and every restaurant they put a machine or a human a, a machine that's more like a human being to advertise the place which i think so in my opinion it's more attractive honestly and she's gonna sit and take a picture as you can see so in, in front of this restaurant over here guys there is this guy which looks like he's a muslim so as you can see the guy allahu akbar is uh, having a barbecue in his hand is a robot he have beard he looks muslim just to advertise the restaurant and i told you guys most of uh, humans will slowly be replaced you know right now there is a robot standing outside try to attract people soon in there there will be a robot same like him trying to cook for people wait wait is this real? Is this real, guys? Oh my god. Hi! Oh my god. Hi! Are you human? Oh, yeah, it's a human. No, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah! Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wait. Wait, they thought I was actually part of the event? People are taking pictures of me, they think I'm a statue too. Okay, shishi. Right now I bought a ticket for the, it's called Future Room, I guess, or Future Garden or whatever is it. 
oh my god, the room have just opened, yeah, Habibi, let's just see what do they have inside. Wait, who's this guy, guys? I wish I knew who is this guy. There is no information about him. Coprenius? Coprenius? I think so this guy, he have invented something. I wish I have paid attention when I was kid in the class. Is he the one who actually played in the Mona Lisa? I don't know, because the Mona Lisa is over there, as you can see, guys. This is the statue of Leonardo da Vinci. If I see Einstein over here, guys, we are having a fight, bro. That, that piece of shit, guys. This one over here, the guy who have discovered gravity, physics. We are failing all because of you. Friday, he's the one who discovered Friday night. Nikola Tesla, it's him. And I found another enemy, guys. I found another enemy. Albert Einstein, the guy who was disturbing me every day, every time. I don't know why you guys come to museum just to see this guy talking a lot. And we have another guy over here. I don't know who is he. Charles Robert. I don't know what have you created, but I'm pretty much sure it cannot help me to count my money. Guys, guess what I found? I found a dead body in China. Oh la la, what do we have over here? We have a na naked nigga. And those are the faces as you can see. Oh my god, they look so real, like this face over here. Oh my god, this face looks so real, like this beard. Oh my goodness, it's so real. I feel like it's from a dead body beard. Right now we're gonna go outside and uh, yeah, we have finished with the futuristic place. I thought it was, so, I thought it would be very, very futuristic, but it was not that futuristic, honestly speaking. Give me card, I don't know what this card is used for. Uh, I think so, I have almost showed you everything in this floor. After three days, I'm going to come back over here and then see how will the 3D version of me will look like. And finally, today is the third day, yeah, Habibi. I'm in front of the mall right now. Let's just go inside and see how will my 3D version of me look like. Here is the elevator, yeah, Habibi. Let's enter. And we go to the sixth floor. And wallahi, I have no clue what how I will look like even. Today is even my hairstyle is different. All right. Hello. Oh, it's over there, guys. It's over there, guys. It's going to give me right now. And I have no clue how I will look like, wallahi. Oh my god, how will I look like? Guys, wallahi, you won't believe how I'm looking like. Man. It's totally me, guys. Look at the mini me. I don't know how, but they make the details very perfectly accurate, the same way I look like. Oh my goodness, guys, look how I look like. Oh my goodness, I literally look the same way I looked last night. Even the details are actually accurate. I don't know how, but they make the details very perfectly accurate, the same way I look like. I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but this is how I look like. Allahu Akbar. 7 out of 10. Right now at the moment, we are getting out of the mall. And Alhamdulillah, we took our product. Before I end this video, I want to show you guys something about Alipay bikes. Since... We are talking about futuristic stuff because there is something in alipay that have really impressed me as i swear to god and it and right now alipay bikes have just launched a new bike which is actually more advanced than the last one that is what they do basically every year they renew the bike and they add new uh, fancy stuff into the bike to actually modify it but this year they added something which have really impressed me honestly so this is the new Alipay bike as you can see and there is something scary that I want to share with you guys. It might not sound scary at the beginning but listen to the end. If you want to turn on the Alipay bike you have to scan the QR code through Alipay and then it will make a weird sound which tells you to wear the helmet before you drive the bike. But guess what? The bike won't work until you actually put the helmet on. And you might ask me right now, so what is it scary? Let me tell you, what if your car does not work until you put the seat belt on? Before the cars make sound, and Alipay also makes sound if you don't put the seat belt on. But right now, don't put the seat belt on, the car won't, the engine won't start. Do you think that will happen? Since they are trying it with Alipay, my theory might be wrong. I might look dumb when I say this. This is how I feel like the future is going. Since these machines and these people are good at developing those kind of things, honestly, it's kind of a scary. I don't know. It might not be only in electric cars. It might be in every car in the world. I don't know. But hopefully you understand my point. And I'm definitely not saying that wearing helmet is bad. I know it is very safe and it's part of the rules and regulations and driving in China's roads. You have to wear helmet. You know what? I don't want to get canceled. Thank you very much for watching. It was your boy Mohai from Chinatown. And yeah, see you next time.